B. What? Peef and I want chocolate. Then make something. Okay. Today we're going to make some chocolate banana nice cream. You may have heard that term before, nice cream, and it's basically an ice cream that's made with bananas as the base instead of using milk or cream or any dairy. It is vegan and it is also only three simple ingredients, frozen bananas, almond milk, and cocoa or cacao powder, depending on what you wanna use. When we first started eating a whole food plant-based diet, I needed something that could satisfy my sweet tooth and I do love chocolate. So this does both of those things. It is definitely advised that you use a high speed blender to make this. Um, we did start making it in our regular blender when we first started and it still had that banana kind of filmy taste, banana taste to it. <laughs> And once we got a Vitamix and we made this, I was blown away at how creamy and delicious it is. I don't think it actually tastes like bananas. I taste chocolate and it tastes like delicious chocolate ice cream to me. Some people like Brian still think it tastes like bananas. It does. So let me know in the comments below if you try it and what you think. But that's enough talking about it. Let's make it. So the main ingredient that you're going to need is frozen bananas. So whenever I have bananas that look kind of like this, that are super ripe, I go ahead and just peel them and then put them in bags in the freezer. I like to use a quart size freezer bag and I'll just use the same bag over and over again and store them in there just like that. I like to store them in bags of six bananas because that's how many I use for each recipe. So I'm going to just break them up into pieces like this. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't need like a knife or anything. Just make them smaller to make it a little easier on your blender. And then you take your bag and then just put them in. This quart size bag will fit about six of the bananas, which like I said, is how many you need for one of the, of the recipe. But what I do is I just take a Sharpie and then I write on here basically how many bananas are in the bag so that later I know how many are in there. So I'm gonna write two for this one since it has two. So once it gets to six, then I'm ready to make my banana ice cream. So the first thing I like to do is measure out the cocoa or cacao powder. It can create kind of a mushroom cloud of, of chocolate. So I like to put that in first and you can avoid that. I'm going to start with cocoa powder for the first one. This is just unsweetened cocoa powder, plain, nothing else added. And we're going to add a quarter cup of it. And then you just put it in the blender. So the next step is adding your almond milk. I have vanilla. Um, I like to give it a little bit of a shake first and then measure out a half cup and then just pour that in to the blender. And then the last thing you need to add is your frozen bananas. I let these ones sit out for just a few, a few seconds just so they can melt just kind of a little bit, but not too much and um, they've been out for like maybe two or three minutes. And then you just take them and you put them directly into the blender. So they will kind of break up as you do that. Your hands will get messy, but just keep going. You do wanna break them up as you go so they're not just all in there in one giant frozen clump. And like I said, we're using six bananas for this. My hand's really frozen right now. Once you get all your ingredients in the blender, you'll wanna put it on high speed. It'll take a minute or two to come together. You will need the tamper that comes with the blender as well to get it going, because it is a lot for the blender to process. So you just ask a helper to turn the blender on one and then start it and then crank it all the way up. Once you've noticed that it kind of starts coming together and looks pretty creamy and all the clumps are gone, you can turn it back off and then you're ready to put it in your storage containers. 
So the important thing here is to move quickly because this will start melting and then you'll lose some of that creaminess if, you, if it melts too much. So you wanna just take it out. And I like to put it into a bowl just so that I can uh, basically kind of make sure it's all mixed up, make sure there's no giant clumps or anything. I use this under blade spatula to get it out and it helps a lot. You will notice sometimes some of the cocoa powder doesn't all incorporate, but when you give it a mix in this bowl, that will all come together. So once you get it all out, you can leave a little bit in there and just let it melt and then eat it later. But once you get it all out, you're going to stir it all together. And just make sure everything's all incorporated. It looks good, so then you're ready to get your containers. I have these little containers that each fit a, a nice little serving that I like to store these in. I actually put these in the freezer so that they're cold already as this is going in there because like I said, you need to act quickly before it melts. So I just fill them up and put the lid on and then put them in the freezer. So I find that for every banana, it fills one container of these little ice cream containers. And I will link to these containers in the blog and in, in the link in the description below. So you just basically put the lids on like that. And then you're ready to put them in the freezer. So the best tip I can give for this is make sure you know how to use the tamper with your blender. It will get a bit stuck if you don't. And I used to make this with 12 bananas all in one big batch. And I've actually got my Vitamix to the point where it like, not burned out, but it basically stopped working because it was trying to prevent itself from burning out. So it does have, a Vitamix does have a, quite a bit of technology in it to prevent it from actually wrecking the Vitamix, but you will definitely need to use the tamper. I found since I started doing six bananas at once, I haven't had any issues as long as I keep pushing down, like I said, in the four corners with the tamper and keep it all moving. So I like to make two batches of this at once because I have 12 of these little containers. And like I said, they're a perfect size to fill and eat as a treat after dinner. And I will link to these in the description box below so you can get these containers if you like them. They are very handy. And when I make two batches, then I'll just put all 12 in the freezer and I'll have dessert for a couple of weeks or more that it lasts me. This wouldn't be a very good recipe video if I did not try out my recipe, so I'm going to have a sample. It will set up and get a bit firmer once it's in the freezer for longer, but if you just set it on the counter for about five minutes before you eat it, you'll find that it's super creamy and delicious and ready to eat. Mm, it's super chocolatey. It doesn't taste like banana to me. It just tastes like delicious chocolate ice cream, but some people think it tastes like banana, so let me know if you're one of those. And also, if you have not, please subscribe to our channel and you can find us on social media. All the links are in the description below. There's also a blog post I do for every single video. So you can check that out in the description as well. And otherwise, that's all I got. I'm just gonna enjoy this banana and ice cream now. Thank you.